Another option that I wanted to show you is if you go back to machine setup, where the machine was originally configured as dual GNS there, if we change it to uh, 2D, I already showed you depth and slope, but depth and slope still uses GPS corrections for bench heading and bench elevation. If we configure the machine straight to 2D and hit apply, now our screen is different on here. You can see at the bottom here, you can still go ahead and do a bench elevation. We can go ahead and bench out. Bench elevation successful, it's still in 2D. We can still pitch it. But the problem is if we pitch it to the side in 2D, once it's pitched like that, as I turn, it turns with me. See how those grid lines aren't moving now? Those grid lines actually stay with me, so it's still 9% that way. Well, maybe this will make more sense if I show you this view. So see how as I spin the machine, that 9% stays with me? In depth and slope, with a bench heading, that makes it to where if I'm bench heading this way, and I make it 9% that way, as soon as I turn to the left, it's still going to know where that original left was. This one in 2D, I'm going to bench it that way, and as I move, that grid line stays with me. So I'm still 9% to the side, and it's going to be 9% that way. Same thing right here, 9% that way. That's the only difference that we have to be aware of with the 2D versus depth and slope. But the camera, the augmented camera, still works in a, a 2D bench option. Thank <laughs> you.